guys, it's Ashley here with Country Review Monograms. Just wanted to say hi and welcome to our channel. Um, today we're going to be working on several unicorn birthday shirts and I thought I'd bring you along. If you're new here, we'd love for you to hit the like button to help us out and subscribe to our channel to view future content. Alright, next we're going to get our machine set up. Um, so I'm going to go through and find the design we're using. We're doing a number five with the name Paisley. There we go. I'm going to set my colors. I know I do this maybe a little different than other people. Um, I just prefer this way. I like to know that my colors are exactly where they need to be. Um, so I need to set that as light purple. And I put the stops in where I need the machine to stop so I can... Um, place and trim fabric. All right, everything else is set, so I'm going to end edit. And this is where I would trace the design to make sure um, that it fits and is not going to hit my frame. I've used this number five designs uh, many times, so I'm going to skip that today because I know it's going to fit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on sewing and it brings me to my screen and it is going to have me change a couple of my thread colors. I'm going to put light pink on number one and then the pale yellow on number 10. I actually I'm going to change number nine to um, it's showing light purple and I just have a different shade of light purple on my machine. Just not quite the same color I normally use. Um, we already have the hot pink we need, we already have silver that we need, white, turquoise, and purple. Um, I, again, do things a little differently on my machine. I like to keep these four anchored in. They're the four center ones here on the machine, and they're just, they're just um, harder to change. And those are colors I frequently use with some of my other items, so I just leave those anchored in and don't change them unless I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and change the thread real quick and then we'll get started. I use the tie off method for my thread. So what I do is steal that from another machine. I just trim the previous thread that was there here on the end, put my new spool of thread in, tie knots. I usually have to do three. Okay, so this is both tied. And then I just take the um, thread out of the eye of the needle and pull that all the way through. And then what I do is I take hold of the new thread, I click my needle threading, put it around the loop, and it threads. I'm going to repeat the process for the light pink as well. All right, now we're all set to get started. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it and push start. So what my machine is going to do is the first, um, it will stitch out the placement stitch for the number five, so we know where to place our fabric.
then the machine stops to allow us to place it. I already have some fabric prepped. Um, I use Heat and Bond lights on the back of all of my applique fabric, and you can see this shine. I've already ironed it on there, so it's ready to go. So I'm just going to place that down. Once the stitching for the tack down is run, run, I'm going to go through and trim off the excess fabric. I prefer these small little curved scissors. I'm not sure if you can see the curve on those. They have a real pointy end so I can get into the corners very easily. And they're sharp enough I can usually just slide my scissors along fabric when it has the heat and bond light on the end, on the back. Take this back over to the machine. Go ahead and restart it. It's going to run the tack down stitch for the unicorn. my fabric down for the applique unicorn. It's going to run the tack down stitch. And we'll go ahead and trim the unicorn
we go. Our nice unicorn shirt ready to go out to our customer. So what I do next is I, again, flip it inside out. I just pull away the tear away stabilizer as much as possible. I don't get every single little piece out, but I do try to get the majority of it out so that it's not flaking off for my customer. A nice soft easy tear away for this purpose. And then I just go ahead and trim around the cutaway. I don't get too close to the sign. Um, the stabilizer that remains on the shirt just helps to keep your shirt nice um, and hold those stitches later on as the shirts wash and use. There we go. Then the only thing I have left to do is I will use my heat press to attach a piece of um, a cover stitch that's similar to like Tinder Touch that a lot of people use. It's just a different brand. And then we'll package our shirt up for our customer to get shipped out today. Hi guys, thanks again so much for joining us today as we finish the unicorn shirt. Again, if you could just give us a thumbs up to our video, it helps YouTube to know um, that you like our content, as well as subscribe so you can um, see all our future videos. We would greatly appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Bye.